Hey YouTube, this here is an Epson Home Cinema 3020 model. It's a projector that we use as a TV and it has a bulb in it that has a definite lifespan. The bulb has a life of $4,000 if you're using it on eco mode. We don't use it on eco mode. We use it to watch TV on the projector, just like a regular TV rather than a movie theater. So this bulb needs changing. The light flickers all the time when you're looking at it and sometimes it'll just cut off because the bulb is going bad. So let's go ahead and replace the bulb. The bulb goes right here in this little hatch. And when we pull it out, we'll see what the old one looks like. And I'll show you what the new one looks like. Let's get to it. Just know if you're about to replace this bulb or do any work on this thing, make sure that it's been powered off and cooling down for about an hour. That way the bulb is nice and cool because the bulb gets really hot. Go ahead and make sure you take the power off. We're just going to pull the power off of this. You'll see all the lights go off on it. It's powered down. This thing here is just a regular Phillips screw. So I'm just going to use a regular Phillips screwdriver just to get this out. Okay, so the screw is out. And I don't think the screw comes all the way out. It just sits in there. And this thing here should pop to the side like so and down. There we go. And the bulb is up in there. Before we take the old one out, let's go ahead and take a look at the new one. So we get an idea for what we're dealing with with the old one. So it's just an LED bulb. And this is all it is. You're not supposed to touch the lamp. This thing goes up into the projector and these two screws actually hold it in place. These two screws. So we got to remove the two screws off the bulb on the projector. This little, this little handle here is just what you use to pull it out. This doesn't really help you help it stay in place or anything. And it just clips in place like that. So hopefully you can see this. There's one there's two little screws holding this thing in and they don't come all the way out. You just screw them out and you'll feel when it's actually out. And then we just grab this little thing here, pull it down. And this should come right out. There you go. That's the bulb. Doesn't look too bad. Let's go ahead and replace it. Okay. Here goes the new projector bulb in there. Could only go in one way. Once it's in there nice and firm. Let's go ahead and screw these little bad boys in. They're really tiny and you can just barely see them. Okay. That's the bulb back in. Now I'm just putting this one little plate back in. And there we go. Just tighten this one screw here. And plug the power back in. And power just plugs right back in there. It's all buttoned up. Power back on it. You can see the little blue light on it. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Oh, well, this is a nice, this is a nice, decent picture. You need to go down in the menu to the reset. Oops, and reset the lamp hours. Hope you, hopefully, you can see that. And that resets the lamp to zero. You might need to play with the picture and the, the brightness settings a little bit just to make sure it's bright enough for you. But that's it. We changed the bulb on this, on this Epson Home Cinema 3020 model. We got a pretty good picture on the TV. The projector looks pretty good. I hope you like this video. If you do, 
hit the subscribe button, click the bell, and we'll see you on the next one. God bless you.